Hello, darlings. How are you? Let me know you're here in the chat. Oh, happy full moon in Aquarius. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Amanda and Scarborough, Maine. Yes, let us know where you're calling in from and what you are sipping. And if it's your first time, hi, Corky. Hi, yes. Hi, Claudia in Montana drinking the moon. They sound like song lyrics. Hello, I'm in Montana drinking the moon. Like amazing. I love it. Morning from Japan, sipping chocolate mint. Oh, Athena. That's amazing. Oh my God. So you're drinking peppermint bark. Um, and Jennifer is having the moon and Jessica's in Ohio sipping the sun. Um, wait, wait, wait. Ah, it's going so fast. Um, drinking you're the rabbit out in Cadiz, K Kentucky, Sonia says. Cats drinking the Empress in Orlando, uh, Tammy's moon drinking in Seattle, Amanda's drinking High Priestess, Rebecca's in Ohio drinking Child's Pose, Jessica's in Ohio sipping the sun. Are we at the new shop? We are. This is the new shop. Um, I've got a few papers there, but yes, so I will. I gave you guys a tour last week, so if you missed it, I can tour you around at the end um, today. Let me just wipe off my... my um, skin oil. I wear, I use the skin prayer oil on, on myself all the time. And, um, so everything's covered in it there. Now you can see me. <laughs> it's everywhere. So, um, wonderful. Well, happy, happy full moon. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to do a full moon ritual. Um, and it is, uh, totally, uh, one of those rituals that it's very simple. It's very easy. And if you have, um, a bay leaf, it's better. I actually, um, realized I don't have any bay leaves here. So I'm going to actually do the ritual tonight when I get home, but I'll, um, show you guys how to do it. And, oh, good. Sonia says, got the job offer I was hoping for after our last ceremony. Had to share exciting news because you guys and your energy are awesome. That's amazing. Congratulations. I love it. Um, yes, this is part of the aprons um, that uh, our tea workers in Sri Lanka make. So they're all one of a kind. And if you come here, oh, Mary's in hot and humid Savannah drinking Ruby Moon. Well, I'm having... Savannah B, honey, in my tea. So we're connected that way too. Okay, so I'm gonna um so tonight we're gonna do a full moon ritual. So you may want to grab a piece of paper or a bay leaf and a marker. Then um you will um you can do this after. I'm just gonna walk you through how to do it. We'll do a tea ceremony, then we'll do our, our reading for the week, and then we'll do a giveaway. And I have a very nice giveaway tonight. So don't forget, you need to be here to um, win. And um, I randomly choose you out of the out of the chat. So I'm going to take you, yeah, this is the bar. Isn't this beautiful? And so this will be where we do. Um, this weekend, we have live tea school. We're about to launch the, or we launched the other tea school. This is the um, where we're going to be hosting T School this weekend. So if any of you are signed up for T School, it's very exciting. We will be here. And I'm going to grab my other laptop. Yeah, I've been working on this space, very in love with it. And um, this is our outdoor garden. You can kind of see it through the windows. But I'm going to go ahead and get us started here. And I'm going to relax here. You guys can see my tea ceremony set up. Well, we've got the giveaway box, my other computer. I, uh, I really value transparency and trust. And so I love that I get to show you guys all the back end of my life. <laughs> when I don't get to the tea, cer the tea ceremony room in time. So I'm just going to, I wrote you guys a little your little ceremony here. And then, so what you're going to need tonight is you're going to need incense and these incense holders will be on the site soon. This is Buddha's hand. Um, we sold out of these in the tea salon. I just ordered more. And then you're going to need um, a little receptacle to burn in if you want to. Um, I am going to be drinking the sun tonight because I'm hooked on it and it makes me feel like so blissful. 
and I'm going to put my incense here. Um, you can also grab a little candle and then I'm going to use my, um, and for those of you who wanted these and they were no longer on the site, we just ordered a hundred more each of the gray and the um, clear. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to go get my water. So you guys keep each other, keep each other company. I'll be right back. Hold on one sec. Okay, without water, there is no tea. So definitely have to remember the water. Okay, my loves, oh, let us land. Mondays, right? Am I right? Mondays, I'm gonna take off my apron. Gonna go from mama mode to magic mode. It's all the same mode though. And I'm gonna take a moment to just call in our teachers, our ancestors from the other side, the spirits that help us, the thousand unseen helpers, as my teacher Greg says. Burn some incense, which helps bring our prayers into the ethers, raising our prayers. My jar is almost empty. I've been doing that like crazy. Um, the thing about Yopon, the herb that's the base of the sun tea, it's an adaptogen grown in the United States by a female farmer, a woman farmer in Texas. Makes me very happy. It's drought resistant, just like the Moringa I added to it. It's also got an incredible um, antioxidant level uh, profile. It's also super high in theobromine. This little strainer doesn't strain out every detail. Um, and then I added turmeric. So everything in this is anti-inflammatory and just massively antioxidant. Um, very high in theobromine, which is the um, the nootropic that is found in uh, dark chocolate and um, really powerful. So go ahead and allow yourself to settle in. We're just gonna do a quick centering exercise. Go ahead and allow yourself to take three deep breaths into the belly, expanding the solar plexus, the diaphragm, allowing the organs to get oxygenated and massaged Filling your lungs all the way to the bottom of your belly with oxygen. Now with your third breath, go ahead and lift your shoulders and try to fill your stomach, your whole body with oxygen. And then um, release the day, release the Monday, release the Sunday release the Saturday, release all of them. The full moon is for a release. It's a mini funeral for little things we want to clear, clean away from the dusty furniture and the porch. Full moons are a time to sweep away worry, sweep away guilt, sweep away the lower vibration emotions that we tend to cling to because we think we have to or because it's out of habit. We're used to clinging. Tonight, allow yourself to be cleansed in the full moon light. A blue moon, a super moon in Aquarius. The first time I ever sat in a woman's circle with my godmother, Barbara in Idaho. It was a blue moon. I have a blue moon tattooed on my neck. 
because that was our initiation. And, and it was a gathering of women that was so powerful and so selfless and so about the other women in the group, such a celebration of sisterhood and empowerment. I just thought I have to do this my whole life. We drank wine out of blue bottles that had been basking in the night sky. We danced around a fire. And Barbara was an incredible being who solved murder mysteries psychically for the FBI. <laughs> so she was married to a minister. So I always had this love of a blue moon. And the saying goes, once in a blue moon, because they're rare. We only get maybe one or two, maybe three a year. Do we get three a year? One a year. I don't even know. All I know is they're rare, like you, like this day, like this moment in time. Allow yourself to just center into the magic of the blue moon. The power of this blue moon will go from tonight all the way through Tuesday. So whatever you plant right now or whatever you trim, whatever you want to harvest is going to be impactful and powerful for several days. So if you have any bay leaves in your house, I didn't have any bay leaves here and I didn't get a chance to go to the store. Um, if you have any bay leaves, you can do the ritual with a bay leaf. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to do the ritual with a piece of paper because us witchy women are resourceful. Okay. So tonight, I want you to dream or pray a rare prayer, a rare dream, something you want to experience, but that has not yet been possible. Something you want to learn or to a place you want to go or a person you want to see or I, I, want you to try not to manifest a thing, a, a possession, a material object. Those are for day to day. Those are for hard work and focus. Tonight being such a rare full moon in a core in quirky Aquarius, that's about community. I want you to do something that would be meaningful without having to take care of it like an object. I remember getting my first nice car and came out and it had been banged into in a parking lot like the next day. And I thought, well, there you go. <laughs> Don't be too attached to nice things. So I want you to focus on a prayer, sing a prayer, say a prayer, write a prayer, or something vast, something priceless. So I'm going to go ahead. So get a pen and write it on your piece of paper or your bay leaf. I'll put my object here. And I'm going to... It's hard to do this because as a mother, I'm always doing this for my kids but my kids are going to be fine. Sage just got back from the Hoffman process and he is just so sweet. He's always been so sweet, but he's even sweeter. It's the sweetest boy in the world. So I'm going to let Sage free from this intention because he's usually my intention. And Mia, my darling Mia, I'm going to intend for her to have a wonderful first day of high school on Sunday. But what I'm going to intend here 
is going to be audacious. So go ahead and think of something audacious, something that has nothing to do with anyone, but something you've wanted to do since you were little, maybe. A bucket list item. I want to take my family on safari. My friend just got back and that's very expensive and audacious. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I take my family on safari. Okay. All right. So what are you praying for? This is a, this is a, an experience that I think would, my friend Patty, who's a Buddhist meditator, hardcore, she said it was the most meditative, lifelong changing experience of her life was going. Yes. Oh, okay. So I have other, other um, African safaris here. Oh, wonderful. Great. Okay. Okay, my loves. So write down what your big audacious exciting, wonderful goal is. Okay. And then we'll do a little prayer. A retreat in Hawaii, yum. Iceland and Norway. I loved Iceland. I loved it. Well, and dolphin boat trip near San Diego. It's beautiful there. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love these. Okay, keep them coming. Everybody holds space for everybody's audacious blue, once in a blue moon intentions. <sighs> okay. Now close your eyes and visualize yourself experiencing this experience. Close your eyes. Quiet up. Quiet down quiet up. Visualize yourself experiencing this. <laughs> now generate appreciation for the experience in your heart. As soon as you feel it snap, give thanks. You can allow your smoke to go into the air. Just continue to give thanks. So if you get to full ash, what I like to do is I like to make sure all the ashes are in my I like it all to go to ash. And then add a little tea. And then I'll pour it in the garden. I'll pour it out there. There. Make a little prayer tea. You put it on the roots of a tree. Beautiful. Now, let us just relax into the energy of the simple ritual of a prayer 
and intention, gratitude, a click, relaxation into the new reality that we may experience. And now you let it go. You just let it go. So when you go to pour your tea on a tree or pour the ashes into um, nowhere dry, not burning, be very careful. Um, you can let it go and know that the angels have you, your guides have you, your ancestors have you. All the unseen helpers, they have you. And it's not like you're wishing for anyone's demise. There's no negativity in this wish or this dream or this prayer. That's what makes it powerful. It's a prayer made in the full moon, light, in the light. It is not selfish. It is your soul requesting to experience something while you're in this body. Is there anything more sacred than that? I think not. There's nothing more sacred than the yearnings you have to experience the world of God's creation. That is selfless. It's celebrating the miracle, which is what you're on planet Earth to do. Celebrate the miracle of your existence, of consciousness. It's what a simple cup of tea reminds us to do. To remember the miracle of our lives. The miracle of our prayers coming true. The miracles of our dreams made manifest. The miracle of your consciousness to want what you want because your heart is yearning for it. That heart is the truth teller. So it's perfect in its request. You're perfect to desire what you desire. It is not selfish. It is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pull an angel card for the week. Or two. Sometimes two stick to my hand. <laughs> this is funny. This is so funny. Okay, so I got expectancy. Of course, you have to then, of course. Expect it to happen. At some point, it'll happen. You just expect it, of course. And then I got humor. So expectation, exp expectancy, and humor. So yeah, it might not come the way you think it will. It might not arrive in the, in the pretty little package you think it will. That soulmate might show up and he might not look the way you thought he would or she would. That trip on the safari may not get to you the way you think it will. Whatever that dream is, that prayer, have a sense of humor. Expect it to come true. Just at some point, it'll come true. Just expect it, of course. And then have a sense of humor. And there's a saying, God is, what is it? Prayers are never there when you expect them, but they're always always on time, right? Cool. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to do the giveaway now, but I'm going to have to bring you guys up close to me um, in order to do that. So I'm going to have to rearrange my situation here to bring you close to me. And then I'll show you what the giveaway is. I'm going to take my little ceremony tea. Okay. And then, all right. Come on over here, ladies and gents. I don't know who is on this call. Oh, good. There's a good amount of you. This might be. You guys showed up for this full moon. If you didn't get a chance to do the ritual um, while I was doing it, I want you to do this tonight. 
Do not put this off, okay? This is real. Your prayers deserve to go up tonight into the ethers. Okay, so the gift tonight is Small Batch Magic, the new soda teas, uh, cherry cola and cream soda. Look how cute these are. These are so fun. I'm so hooked on the cream soda. And so it's cherry cola and cream soda. The lemon lime is um, short and uh, is not shipping out till tomorrow because turns out the tea we formulated it with wasn't in the warehouse when we went to go get it. There was a different sencha in the warehouse. So we had to get some sencha, but all of it's blended and ready to go. It's shipping out. Started shipping today. Oh. Then we've got those. Then we've got Triple Moon Tea, our collaboration with the beautiful and illustrious Alanis Morissette, who is absolutely such an angel and a wonderful person to work with. Then you've got the little tea bags to make your small batch magic soda teas individually. So you can scoop them in individually and take them with you on the go. Then you've got a little scoop in order to do that. The perfect little magic hour scoop. Then I gave you a bombilla. This is a straw that has a filter in it. So you can cold steep this with this in cold water in your to-go cup in the fridge and then just take this with you and you are done. It's not a good gift. So you've got small batch magic, um, the little cute little mini jars. These are, mwah, these are so cute. And look how fun the packaging is now. Anyway, okay, so that's the giveaway. So I'm gonna put all this back. And I know you guys are commenting a lot because you know the more you comment, the more chances you have of me picking you. Very smart. You are all very smart. Okay. So that is a fun little gift, yeah? I have fun picking gifts for you guys. I love free stuff. I love winning. You know, one of my dear friends, Satya of Satya Jewelry, I I met her through winning a necklace <laughs> and now we're good friends. Not fun. I won a necklace on an Instagram drawing when Instagram first started. Okay. So here we go. I am going. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going all the way up to the top, all the way up. Oops, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Wow, holy, but Jesus, you guys, you and your comments. Okay, I'm at the top. Now I'm going down. Now I'm going back and forth. I can see it moving. <laughs> okay, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Who's the winner? Kat, Kat Volitek, K-A-T-V-U-L-E-T-I-C-H, Kat, are you here, darling? Kat, 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 are you here? Kat, make sure, yes, congratulations, honey, you won a good gift tonight, wonderful, Kat, um, I know there's more than one cat here, but thank you so much. Um, please email your um, address to ashley at clubmagichour.com. And I am very grateful and excited that I got a chance to be with you here tonight for this illustrious full moon. Please enjoy it. Make your prayers known. Allow the universe to totally support and love you up and lift you up into your dreams Allow all your ancestors to hold you and give you what you want. Allow your heart to soar. Allow yourself to shine. All of the good stuff. This is a big, 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 big super moon, blue moon, Aquarius, happy, quirky, go for it moon. So go for it. Okay. No one's holding you back. All right. You're free. And so it is. And so shall it be. Okay, my dears, cheers to you, your wellness and your health, your prosperity, your joy and your experiences. I'll see you next Monday. 
And for those of you coming to tea school this Saturday, I will see you Saturday. We're going to get good and tea drunk. <laughs> okay. All right. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye. Mm-hmm.